Welcome to part six of the tractor tractor build. This part we are going to be making a front end and getting the steering hooked up. Uh, it should be pretty simple so I'm going to be pretty much using stock mower steering which isn't really a good idea for this but this is actually built pretty well for a mower. We actually have a real steering box on there. That's the output there. Uh, I got hit in an arm deal here. Uh, I'm probably going to these tie rod ends here, the mower ones like this, they pop they pop off all oh boy. They pop out of the socket all the time and we don't really want that on this. I'll probably replace them with time joints or something a little safer. Oh, uh, but I'm gonna I'm not gonna be able to use the stock front axle because it's flipped upside down, it's almost it could work I guess, upside down, but the ground clearance is a little too low like that and our camber's not it's it's not perfect like that. So I'm gonna have to deal with that. Probably going to end up making new uh it probably won't, but new spindles. Uh for these axles to go through and then they're just gonna get welded on with their own mounts to the frame there and uh, so it'll be kind of, there'll be no tube between them in the middle. I might make one go around the oil pan, just, you know, it can protect the oil pan from rocks and such as well. I probably won't do much for the strength just because of the material I'm going to end up making it out of, but whatever. I'm going to probably have to get that made. Uh, but really, I'm just going to take and make a loop here out of uh, the same one inch tubing that I did the tranny mounts out of uh, it's hard to see but right there it's pretty strong stuff so I gotta do a loop across there uh, to make the mount for the steering box there uh, and uh, this should hopefully be a shorter part than the last one because it got, got a bit long but uh, who knows, it doesn't really matter So we cut our our tube, we got the angle on there. Uh, just so it kind of looks fancy. I'm gonna run the tubes down, whatever, to the frame. Um, I'm gonna cut a four inch long section of the angle arm. And we're gonna be doing the same kind of mount that I did for the engine mount, so I'm not gonna really I don't need to show all that, don't you know, you know, weld the nuts on the inside, but that's what we're going to do, because I hate nut and bolt stuff. I really like it when the nuts or whatever, or their studs, studs are better than nuts and bolt. It's just so annoying. If you ever worked on a Polaris, you know. Got the two little downward pieces made to support the bar. You can see, with, even with the saw set to zero degrees, look at our angle, the mirrors. Oh. Terrible. Mm. But I just got. I was gonna get fancy, but I did 22 and a half. Like instead of 45 degrees, I, I wanted to make it so it was kind of like you know that and come down better. But that saw you can pretty much just do zero or 45. It's pretty bad. So basically, uh, I can't. There, there you go. Um, Wow, I'm doing bad. Um, I'm gonna take and oh no 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 uh, yeah anyway you're you're gonna you know 
that. That. 90. Weld the frame. There you go. Minty, minty. Alright. That's tacked up. Uh, that's kind of how that's going to be, really. Steering wheel, like, I think that's pretty much factory position. It's kind of weird, but it is off-center from the factory. If you look at the look at the dash, it's quite a bit off-center. I don't know why, but it is. So, that's how it goes. Well, so tomorrow I'll probably take and actually center that on there and make the mounting plate and then weld that to the frame. This is this is actually going to be back here welded at a different angle. It's just that's just how I ended up mocking it up. Okay, so I tacked the tube mount onto the frame here. Um, I'm just getting ready to make another one of these angle iron brackets like I did with the motor mounts. Um, basically I'm just going to mark I have to mark the holes that I need to drill in this to line up with that perfectly. And I uh, figured I'd just show a little uh, trick on how to do this really easy to find the center to center on these with digital calipers. So if you got some, you know, digital ones make it easy to do ones where the holes are bigger than 100,000. Basically you want to measure your, your hole size, which is 0.4. And then you're going to hit the zero button. And then you're just going to measure the distance to the outer. And let me get a shot here. To the outer edges of that. And that is your center to center distance. Right there, two, two inches is probably what it really is. Because when you zero out the size of one hole, it's basically the same as taking half of one of these away from each side when you measure the full distance. So, as you can see, that set, well, like that's the outer, but if you re-zero these, and it just reset, because these are junk. Wow. Wow, this won't even work. Uh, re-zero them. You set them to two inches. See right there. That's it's hard to tell, but yeah, it works. I'm gonna I'm not even gonna film that. I already did it twice with those ended mounts, so I'll be back when we're ready to tack that on. Okay, I made the mount. I got the angle tacked on our tubing. Uh, yeah, steering box looks good there. We got plenty of clearance from the tranny. See that's tacked. It's just two three-eighths bolts. This is turning into a sort of Polaris thing where everything touching the motor is metric, including the holes and the rest of it's standard, but whatever. Um, yeah. There we go. Uh, she, uh, she works. I think I might take this box apart and have a look at rebuilding it, because the play. That's not going to be good for steering. I want to get as much play out of everything as I can so this doesn't act like a mower. So we had about, uh, before anything would happen, when this mower was stocked, we'd have about that much before you'd actually feel anything. It's, it had about that much play in it, and I don't think that's going to be good for what we're doing. The steering box itself doesn't really have hardly any play in it, but it's, I mean, well, let's see, the steering box has about that much play in it, but that's about equivalent to early 2000s GM trucks. I'll deal with that. It's good enough. It's bad enough. It's fine. Now that the steering box is pretty much mounted. Uh, the next step is going to be the front axle, uh, so you definitely can't use this axle, so I drew up a part we're going to get made uh, right here, drew this up real quick, so basically, no, that, 
It's basically going to replace the spindle that's cast into the into this axle here, except well, that's cast iron, and cast iron lubricates itself pretty much. So with those mild steel axles, this is going to be mild steel. Also, if you can't cast this or do anything about that, it's going to end up being made out of mild steel because it's free for us. Um, I can't just have mild steel on mild steel like that because it's going to wear and a lot of bricking. So this top cup here is going to accept the 1603 ball bearing because I noticed the tops of these spindles are worn right out where the steering arm pushes back and forth on uh, it's hard to see but right there where that arm pushes back and forth it's ovaled right out so I figured that will help a lot with our um, you know effort with steering because it won't be just pushing against a plain bearing um, and then down in this section there's going to be a one inch long oil light pushing that we press in there um, and it'll take a grease fitting I know that's not correct but it doesn't matter um, that's going to take a grease fitting there uh, prob I mean it would probably be better to use oil because of the bushing but yeah yeah so that's going to be our new deal and the spindles are going to get welded on to the front frame rails I don't know if how long it's going to take to get those made but we'll see if they're done this week we'll be in the video if not this is just going to be a short video on that junk pretty much but they're just going to attach off the frame right here and this will all get reinforced because the frame is not very strong in this area right now we'll get there